perfect. Perfect life, perfect home, perfect friends, perfect family, perfect world, perfect economy. In reality, all of these things are possible. And I'm not talking about the outer reality that is occupied by billions of people, not the reality that you interact with your friends and family. No, I'm talking about an internal reality, a reality that is only occupied by one person, and that person is yourself. And this reality is called imagination. My name is Tarek, and I'll be introducing you today to my enemy, aka my perfect enemy. And that enemy's name is perfection. He has one simple goal, and that goal is to be seen. My enemy simply wants to exist in a world, in a reality, where it simply doesn't exist. Now, we've always been taught in life that positivity is essential. It's always good to see the positive in things, to see the positive in people, in situations and events, and we shouldn't always be negative. And perfection uses that tactic as a way to get what it wants. It wants to use positivity as its way to achieve its goal, which is simply to exist. My enemy, perfection, like I said, only exists in a reality that is internal, a reality where fantasies occur, and that reality is called imagination. Perfection simply has no place in the reality that is occupied by billions of people, the reality where you and your friends, your family interact. Perfection has no place in that reality. So my enemy simply doesn't exist, and it can't exist in this reality. It can only exist in imagination, a fantasy reality where anything is possible. So perfection's goal is to simply try to exist in the reality that is occupied by billions of people. And perfection knows it simply doesn't exist here. My enemy knows that it simply doesn't have a place in reality at all. My enemy's motive is very simple. My enemy is so perfect. The reason why it is the perfect enemy is because its effects is unnoticeable. Usually an enemy always has some kind of a negative impact on us. Usually we think of an enemy as someone who always has a negative impact or is always doing something very negative to us, something we don't like. But perfection is quite the opposite. Perfection is our desire. Our desire is to be perfect. And we desire to be perfect through positive things, not through negative. What makes my enemy so powerful is that it sugarcoats any negative or hard things that anyone must go through. So whenever we have like a desire or a goal, and usually our goal does involve perfection. We want to try to be the best versions of ourselves. We want to try to do the best we can in life. That's usually part of our goal. And perfection's goal is to simply sugarcoat any negative or hard things that you must go through to get to that goal. And that's why we like it so much. We don't really like to see the negative or hard things we have to go through in order to get to our goal. Because we only want things to be positive, straightforward. Basically, we humans really want to be comfortable. Perfection approaches us as like some kind of filter. It only filters all the negative and hard things and only leaves the positive things for us to look at. Now, that, now sometimes you could agree that could be a good thing. You know, it's always good to look at the positive in things and not only the negative, right? But when it comes to our dreams, our goals, our desires, only looking at the positive won't get us anywhere. And perfection knows it simply doesn't exist in outer reality. It doesn't exist in the reality where we interact with our friends and family. But perfection knows that it has the power to manipulate us. My perfect enemy knows its superpower. It knows its ability very well. And simply it, it's to manipulate us into thinking that it actually is possible to be perfect in the reality that is occupied by billions of people. That is perfection's superpower, that it's very manipulative. This is one thing I had to establish about my enemy. My enemy is only there making us dream. It only makes us dream about the good things that our goals and desires can do. It never does. It never shows us what we have to do to get there. 
And that's why it is my enemy, because simply it doesn't show me what I need to get there. It only shows me the positive things that will happen from my goals. And that can be good, you know, it probably motivates you to get out of your comfort zone and go and get your goals. But sometimes it doesn't really. And this is what I have to say to my enemy, perfection. Dear perfection, you have manipulated me for a very long time. And today is the day that I stop being manipulated by you. Today is the day I stop being comfortable. And today is the day I actually start living my life. And that is getting out of my comfort zone and taking risks. To my perfection, you have always manipulated me and shown me the positive things about my dreams and goals. But I know positive isn't always a factor in my goals. I have to get out of my comfort zone. I have to jump. I have to live in order to achieve my goals. And I am not going to let you ever manipulate me like you did before. Because my comfort zone simply kills me. And I cannot stay in my comfort zone forever. So today is the day that I say goodbye. You're not my friend anymore, perfection. You are my perfect enemy, 